Today, I've got a cutesy little camera for you all. This is the Sony DSC T25, also famous for being known as the Ashen Clone Caleb Water camera, which he used for his videos between 2009 and then he stopped using it at the start of 2012. Small little thing, it feels awesome to hold, and I love the lens cover, uh, the way it just like flips up and down. Part of Sony's Cybershot line of point-and-shoot digital cameras, it was released in April 2007 with 8.1 megapixels and 3x optical zoom. Uses a lithium-ion battery on the side and also uh, the built-in storage is only 31 megabytes, so you're going to need a memory card if you want to um, use this. It is actually quite a rare camera, the T25. Um, it's actually a re-release of Sony's DSC T20, except the only difference is that it came with a HT TV cable. Uh, so you could put the pictures and videos on HD TV. Uh, yeah, it's literally the exact same as um Sony's Cybershot T20. And the T25 was only released in black. But in black, it looks pretty cool. I think that, in my opinion, the black version is the best colour to get a T20 or T25 Sony Cybershot camera. So let's go over some of the settings on the actual camera. There's, um, when you go to home, there's four main modes you can pick. Three for taking pictures and then one down the bottom for movies and video. The three taking picture modes uh, that you can pick and just have a variety of different settings on ways you can take pictures with the camera. And then in the rest of the home setting, you've just got a, a way to do a slideshow with some of the pictures you've taken. A uh, way to hook this up to a printer, music tool, memory card stuff, and uh, clock settings and other things like that. Um, so we'll just start off with auto adjustment. That's uh, one of the modes. This button here, by the way, this um, will take you to the photos you've taken. So I've got a few here. Um, just taking a picture in the kitchen. Um, and then you just go back and then you're back to the uh, to the camera again and um, so yeah in each sort of uh, mode you can just go to uh, menu and then there's like you know you can kind of take you know shoot your image in a different sort of uh, size um, and then you can even like take pictures in HD down the end VGA that kind of thing uh, face detection, um, Ori C mode, which uh, just takes a lot of um, shoots per second, so you can get loads of different photos all together. Um, and uh, this is just the brightness, brightness and darkness. And uh, then underneath that, red eye reduction. And some, even, you can even do more here in this uh, setup spot there's screen selection and there's there's just there's loads of different settings in the three main uh, modes for taking pictures there's uh, ISO uh, which basically I think if you um, if there's actually a setting for ISO I believe um, somewhere else where you can actually I think that just uses like a stronger flash um, some of the settings are the same. These are like different filters you can use for your pictures. Um, here, uh, steady shot. Um, and then I'll just do the other last one, program auto. I think this is the one I mainly used for my pictures. And then there's, uh, there's even more stuff on there. So you get more, you know, this shoots three shots. Um, uh, zero, you know, 1.0 EV apart. Um, more filters by the looks of things here. Um, this is the ISO thing I was talking about. So if you, you know, take a photo with this, it 
basically makes the flash like much brighter and that's what I got out of using that um, then again you have this and uh, th some kind of um, focus settings here um, you know but I usually like to leave it on auto focus uh, and uh, and then there's some other stuff here that you can kind of you know we've got the zoom here which I'll show more in a minute when I show you some um, pictures but you go to here and you've got auto or the the close-up uh, shop um, then you have flash and then for this setting the flash uh, can't be changed this just changes the display and then you there's a timer uh, here and there's yeah so yeah the, um, I'll give you guys a quick look at some of the pictures that I've taken on this so you can kind of judge for yourself And then there's just the movie mode, um, which uh, you use to shoot video. And uh, you have three different options. Um, there's the lowest quality um, for shooting movies in 320. Um, and that is just really bad quality. And I'll just show you an example of that now. And then there's 640 standard quality mode and uh, that I will show you some example footage for now. And then there's 640 fine mode and that shoots in the uh, highest quality video um, and uh, that's really good quality uh, the best quality you can get and uh, here's some example footage for that So yeah, then just the rest of the settings you can kind of get is uh, you can do some different filters. Again, if anyone remembers Ash and Clone's Jason Gamino uh, video, he uh, shot that in sepia. Uh, that's a video that's not on the archive, by the way. It's uh, gone forever. Uh, didn't manage to save it. Um, then you remember this from before, the brightness setting. Um, this again exposure based on center brightness um, and some focus stuff and some more filters by the looks of things uh, down the bottom steady shot and uh, yeah that is um, what the camera is like uh, on the actual LCD screen and what you can kind of do now do I recommend you buy and use the Sony T25 in 2022 Absolutely yes. It's a great secondary camera to use. Um, great camera for its time as well. It's got this lovely body material made of aluminium and uh, fits in your pocket really nicely. Takes great shots. Um, and it's definitely just like something to use in case you get sick of your modern camera that you're using for pictures or videos or it's just something definitely to have as a backup definitely a great collector's item and um yeah i really really like it to be honest i think this is a great camera so to finish off with the video i'm gonna record with the camera showing inside the contents of the box here's just a quick overview of the box 
and what it came with. Uh, the box is in very good condition other than this uh, scratch on the front of the paper. Um, and uh, yeah, 2007. And I'm getting those PS2, boxed PS2 vibes with the colours there. The uh, dark blue and yellow. Um, and uh, yeah, I paid about 120 euro for this all the way from Germany. This is where the camera came from. And um, in some ways it was worth it because like, this camera is very rare and the condition is so good with everything. So uh, it even comes with like every different leaflet that it originally came with even the T25 T20 um, disc which uh, I imagine on this disc is there's just probably software for a um, software for a, uh, what's the name of it slideshow uh, and then there's some other booklets, advertisement booklets, then you have literally the instruction booklet in so many different languages this time. Um, this is the main English language, DSC, Digital Still Camera. Um, and yeah, you can actually find all these instruction manuals online now really. And uh, yeah, just more advertisement leaflets. Uh, in ver oh, they're, all, they're all in pristine condition. There's the battery, by the way, if I didn't um, show that uh, well in my video. Um, and uh, and then inside here is uh, the charger. That's what that looks like. You just get a AC plug. Um, it even came with a little baggie. This is literally where the camera goes inside. Uh, that's where the battery goes. This little um, uh, case. Then the HD TV cable. Uh, then this is actually the USB cable. And then what I think is just a standard composite cable for putting the photos on the TV and or videos um, it also came with like a Sony strap which would go on the side of the um, camera so yeah and uh, then the plug and uh, that that is inside the box 